Welcome to Spooky Crafts. Today we're going to be making monster jars. Um, what you'll need for today's session is scissors, glue, I'm using Mod Podge, uh, you could use PVA, um, a paintbrush to pop your glue on, uh, you'll need a jar like this, I'm using a jam jar and a chutney jar and you'll also need coloured paper or tissue paper. If you don't have any of those you could always snip some um, some pretty colours and textures out of an old magazine or a newspaper. Okie okay, dokie, we're gonna get started. So first of all take a jar of your choosing. I've already done a little bit on this one, started making it into a pumpkin. So I'm gonna finish this off and show you how. So I'm gonna take some orange scrap paper cut it into little bits it doesn't matter what shape doesn't have to be neat just small little chunks okay once you've got a handful of little chunks we're going to start gluing them onto our jar this is quite similar to collaging or decoupage where we're going to layer up our glue and keep adding paper to it until it looks completely filled a lot like this. Okie dokie. So I'm going to take some of my glue, I'm going to put it on quite generously, don't hold back with it. The more you put on the better it sticks, especially if you're using normal paper like me. It can be quite hard to keep it on the jar. So I'm going to take a little shape, I'm going to pop it on top, I'm going to take my paintbrush again with glue on it and I'm just going to go over that shape with even more glue until it sticks down nice and smoothly and it doesn't move. It is a little bit fiddly at first but it's also really therapeutic once you get started. So I wanted to do a pumpkin jar and a mummy jar. So that's what our glue roll is going to be for later, but I'll move on to that once we finish this one. So keep layering it up. I don't want to be able to see through the orange at all, through the glass. I want it to be filled with orange. Now, depending on how big your jar is, this might take you a while. It does build up quite quickly. You could make any monster you want on this though. It doesn't have to be a pumpkin. You could use green paper and make a Frankenstein or white paper and make a ghost. And the great thing about these jars is that at the end you can put a candle in and light will shine through your paper beautifully. So we're getting there slowly but surely. Keep whacking your glue on nice and thick, be nice and generous with it. Piece of paper on, dab it down, more glue over the top. And the glue over the top will also make it really lovely and glossy. doesn't matter if your paper moves round a bit because we can just layer over the top of it like I'm going to do here. There's a gap just there so I'm going to cover it up, put more and more layers on. The thinner it is, the better your candle will shine through it. But I don't mind mine being a bit patchy. That's it. And where you've got excess glue just go over it get rid of all the excess because you don't want it to be too blotchy at the end okay 
could do with some more orange paper need some more shapes like I said it doesn't matter how these look because they're all going to merge together anyway on the jar just as long as they're not too big so another shape overlapping more glue it's quite a fun one this you can really get into it it's like painting but the glue actually just goes transparent at the end so even though it looks like you're covering it with a lot of white and it looks a bit messy at the moment at the end all the glue will go see-through and you won't even know it's there and it'll just look like a lovely gloss making your jar really nice and shiny I'll cover that little little gap oh we're nearly there just spotted another gap here cover that one up and then this big gap here final few bits now Now, like I said, I want to cover all my little gaps, but you might want to leave some cracks in it so it looks extra spooky, so the light can shine through in random places. The other thing you might want to do, if you've got a very round jar, it might be a little bit more difficult to um, stick down your paper. Like where I've got a ridge here that's round, I'll show you how to put paper on round there because it can be very fiddly. So, as usual, pop your paper on. like so and it will probably try and escape but you've just got to wrestle it and the more practice you have the easier it is to get this down first time the more glue the easier it stays down sometimes I actually really like to use my fingers to make it easier so I'll dab my finger in some glue and massage it down it is messy but it's actually a lot easier to control the paper when you can just use your hands and with the with the um the edge like that using smaller piece of pe pieces of paper is always a lot easier to control it so i'm actually going to cut these a bit smaller coming together nicely you can see it around that top ridge lovely I've just got this bit to do here looking good orange is my favorite lovely okie doke bit more glue I'm going to lather that on right the way around and keep adding to it like I said this is Mod Podge um, but PVA glue will do exactly the same and if um, your PVA glue is quite thick you can water it down that means you'll also save using a lot more glue that way oh here we go I'm excited to see what this will look like with the light in it kind of like a pumpkin but in a jar here we go 
last few pieces. I'm going to use my finger for this one because it doesn't want to go down. Oop. There we go. more glue. Fantastic. Now PVA will dry quite fast especially if um, it's warm where you are. So I've got the radiator on in here so this should dry fairly swiftly. I'm just going to take off a lot of the residue glue so it doesn't go too blotchy when it's dry. We want it to be nice and glossy. So taking off the lumps and blobs will make it a lot smoother. There we go. So you'll be left with something like this. Lovely, right. We're also going to add some eyes and a mouth to make it a proper pumpkin. So I'm going to do some classic triangle eyes. This is purple, but I'm using purple because I didn't have any black. Um, what you can do is use black card or paint a white piece of paper black and then cut out your shapes from that. But I'm going to use purple because it's a little bit different. So I'm going to do two triangle eyes. One, two, and then I'm going to do a mouth. Hmm. And I think I'm going to put a little tooth in their mouth as well. Measure it up. Make sure it fits nicely. So I've got my mouth and I'm just going to snip in a cute little tooth. So it's very simple detail. A little tooth like that. And now I'm going to glue this on just like I did with the rest. So I'm going to choose where I want it to go. I think it'll look lovely on that side, just there. Glue over the top where your mouth is going to go and your eyes. Take your mouth, pop it down. I might actually just snip that a little bit smaller because it looks very big now it's on. And I'm going to glue over that like I've been doing with the rest. This purple card is a lot thicker than the orange so it's it doesn't want to go down as easily but that's when you can use your hands to massage it down and the more glue you use the wetter it'll get and the easier it'll stay and then afterwards once you've got it to stick like that take your paintbrush and take the residue glue off. There you go. Now it's time for the eyes. One, two eyes. Take this. There's one. And there's two. Oh, how cute. Oh, gorgeous. One eye. Glue over the top. You'll be a pro at this by now. And glue over the other eye. And take that residue off. Yeah, I'm just going to massage it down a little bit with my hands though. Because that card's very thick. Oh, amazing. Oh, I'm so happy with that. There 
is our lovely pumpkin jar. So, the light probably won't shine through it super well while it's, um, while it's wet, but we've got these really cute little electric candles. Let me put one in. Oh, look at that! How lovely! Oh, flickering like a real pumpkin. Amazing. So before we end, I'm just going to do one last monster jar with you. This one's very easy, even easier than this one. And it should only take a few minutes to make, but it'll look just as effective. So you won't need paper for this one. You won't even really need your scissors. I'm going to leave that there. I'm so happy with that. You'll need toilet roll, another jar, another candle, which I'm actually going to put in now because I'm getting overly excited about it. Googly eyes if you've got them. If not, you could cut out some eyes like this. Plain paper. Cut out a circle. like that and you could draw a black circle inside it like a googly eye that's a really easy way of doing it but I've got googly eyes here today which I'm going to use and this is going to be the mummy monster jar so I've got a toilet roll <laughs> I'm going to cut it off there put it in half Put it in half again. So you've got a long strip. I'm going to take a wee bit of glue and just pop a little bit of glue just in the corner of the jar. Just to stick down a little bit of that. And if you want to just secure it, just go over it a few times like we did with the pumpkin jar. With some glue just to decoupage it down so it's not going anywhere and you are literally just going to take this and ravel it round like so and when you reach the end like where my finger is you can just glue it down underneath there glue 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 and stick 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 and go over it a few times with the glue and again because I don't feel like it's quite mummified enough yet I'm going to take more loo roll fold fold again I might not use all of it this time but I will put a bit more down so a bit of glue end of your toilet roll stick 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 and once again ravel Ravel, ravel, and when you get to the end, more glue, and that should do it. It's a very mummified mummy this one, I've probably used too much toilet roll but I'm kind of liking it. So then you've got this <laughs> jar. Now we're going to add googly eyes. So I've got these two. Now I'm going to put them on this side. Which side do I want them? I think I'm actually going to put my googly eyes in this gap here. So with my glue, I'm going to stick each eye 
onto the jar or onto the um onto the toilet roll it would be much easier if you had um self-adhesive eyes but i haven't so i'm just going to use glue for mine there's the other one <laughs> and there is a mummified mason jar and a pumpkin mason jar lovely if you've enjoyed making spooky crafts with us today we would love to see your creations so please tag any photographs online at the old courts hashtag 15 minute makes thank you so much we'll be back making more 15 minute makes tomorrow at 1 p.m see you there if you've enjoyed watching the old courts live and you'd like to make a donation to support the work we do please head over to www.theoldcourts.com forward slash donate. This year has been incredibly difficult for most arts organisations and we're no different. But with a huge effort and support from you and from our funders, we've managed to secure our organisation and the jobs of every staff member. We've also provided 343 artists with paid work for The Old Courts Live. And our volunteers have delivered over 700 food parcels and made 600 calls to isolated local residents. But the battle isn't over yet. We're currently closed to the public with zero income and we don't know how long this closure is going to last. If you can help by making a donation, then you're helping to secure your art centre. We're hoping to be around for a long, long time. Thank you.